February is important in American history. The Black History Month, which is always celebrated in America as well as outside the states, frames the remembrance of important people, their achievement, and big events in the history of black Americans. In Burundi, the event was celebrated in the American Embassy of Bujumbura. Madame Dan Ribery, the U.S. ambassador, opened the ceremony by welcoming guests and encouraging them to embrace the opportunities through the English-speaking world. So, inspired by the legacy of Dr. Woodson, the founder of Black History Month and the founder of this worldwide movement, I encourage all of you, all of the invitees here and many who will be uh, listening to this uh, later on, uh, to tap into the many opportunities for advancement that's available to you today uh, through the English-speaking world. And as you know, there are many English-speaking clubs here in Burundi. <coughs> Uh, obviously, there are many things that the U.S. Embassy sponsors through the American Corners, through the uh, Resource Center here at the Embassy, and obviously through your important program at the University of Burundi. Dr. Gregoire Njejimana, the head of English Language Department of the University of Burundi, and Dr. Njeng Eric, a lecturer of American Literature at the same university, were the distinguished guests in the ceremony. Dr. Gregoire inspired youth by commenting on the throughout life achievements of two black Americans. Writing and black experience characterized the remark of Dr. Jenk Eric, where he explored the works of three famous black writers and explained that, as black people, we should elaborate a system of writing so to avoid being on backward. The other purpose of the gathering at that event was to award the winner of the contest, learning from history to make a brighter future. Fleury Iteriteka, the winner of the competition, shares his inspirations and the benefits he gains from them. I was inspired by the words by Maya Angelou, Africa to me, and uh, so on. And uh, I tried to dig, to dig into many inspirations. I, I, I can mention Maya Angelou herself, uh, Dr. Junior, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, I can mention also Frederick, Frederick Douglass. Uh, I can also mention Malcolm X and th so on. So they, 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 they are writings inspired very much and I can say that I gain much from from the the some some utterances by them and some really really writings. They are they are just showing us that if we trying to build a brighter future, we have to go deep in the past and to learn from our ancestors, our forefathers, to learn how they how they handle the conflicts, in order to handle the conflicts that that we are seeing nowadays. It is only through writing that people can transmit their important legacy to the future generation, relates Dr. Jeng Eric. He urges writers to fetch inspirations from the tremendous resources that Burundi has. It is only through writing that the dreams, that the struggles, the hopes, that the soul of a people is uh, transmitted to future generations. Uh, so. I'm asking them to look within. Yeah, Burundi is rich. It's rich in history. It's rich in culture. You see, it's rich in scenery. You see, we have marvelous, marvelous lake. We have marvelous animals. We have marvelous cultures, and so we can be able to dig into that and use our personal experiences and leave something that is lasting, that is healing. You know. And this will go a long way into building the nation. It is obvious that many young people complain about the difficulties of finding what to write or where to publish their works. Dr. Njeng Eric pursued them, telling that they have everything they need on the tip of their fingers. Writing is much easier today. We have the internet. There's a possibility to be self-published. You see there's a possibility to have your work recognized. You see, even more than it was about 10 years ago or 20 years ago. And so um, my word to them is that look, at, look within. You know, put your buckets where you are. It's, it's, it's such an uh, anecdote by 
by uh, Booker T. Washington, you see, where he was talking in uh, up from slavery. You know, there was a sheep. Uh, they had no water, but they were sitting. The boat was on fresh water. They didn't know. And so they were asking another boat, we want water, we want water. They said, put your buckets where you are. They said, no, we want water, we want fresh water. Put your buckets where you are. You see, so they were standing on fresh water. They were sailing on fresh water. They were in need of fresh water. They didn't know, you see. So let us put our buckets. Yeah, let us dig where we are. And we'll have the resources, you know, to build whatever we want to build. The ceremonies took an end with drinks and finger foods accompanied with black music melodies on the black ground.